Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Melissa Fry with a look at your weather forecast and an update on this evolving forecast that we've been watching here over the past couple of days. You may have heard there's that potential for snow in the forecast and that potential is growing. I actually just got done analyzing the latest model runs and I want to show you what I'm looking at and what you should be prepared for here Thursday all the way through this weekend here across western and central Oregon. So here's what we have going on. Three storms have developed into this Pacific and all of those are actually headed right here for Western Oregon. We're caught in this interesting scenario where we do have that cold Arctic air which has moved down from Canada over the entire Pacific Northwest. Most of us dropped below freezing this morning and will continue to do so here for the next several days. So the storm that moves in here Thursday afternoon, that is storm number one. That is the weakest of these three storms, uh, but it is also the coldest, so that the first to bring snow showers to western Oregon. And again, the best chances for this are just going to be for the south uh, part of the valley through the Umpqua Basin and further into southern Oregon. I'll show you why that is here in just a moment. Now, storm numbers two and three are basically going to combine Friday into Saturday. Those are going to bring in the most precipitation, uh, but they are going to also warm up our temperatures as we head into this weekend. So this is storm or computer model over the next 48 hours and you can see there Thursday morning it is the Umpqua Basin that's the first to see showers along with uh, the south coast into the southern Oregon Cascades. So the coast looks like you'll see just rain or snow rain mix but as soon as you head into the Umpqua Basin areas near Roseburg likely to see some snow showers there early Thursday morning with heavier snow as you head up into the southern Oregon Cascades. Now as we head into Thursday mid-morning early afternoon you see that precipitation starts to travel to the north North, and that's when the Southern Valley is at the biggest threat of seeing those snow showers here. Now as we head into Thursday night, those showers will wind down and we'll see some dry conditions early Friday. But then late Friday, that next storm comes rolling in, set to bring another round of that wintry precipitation here to Western Oregon. Once again, starting in Southern Oregon, then making its way to the north. So here's what you can expect. With that first storm on Thursday, we're looking at anywhere from a half an inch to three inches here, right on the valley floor with more up into the foothills and then when you get all the way to the Cascade Passes we're talking around four to eight inches again with that initial storm and that's pretty much from Willamette Pass south uh, toward Crater Lake. Now Friday afternoon that's again going to bring in some more moisture two to five inches with that storm the mountains could see as much as a foot with that and then on Saturday it's likely that we'll continue to see those snow showers continuing through the night but eventually Saturday afternoon that will start to warm up and so we'll start to see some freezing rain sleet or snow rain mix combination of all three before that does switch over to all rain Saturday night and we'll continue to see chances for rain Sunday through Tuesday so again this is an evolving forecast as we continue to refine the details of when those storms get here, how warm and cold they are, and how much moisture they still have, and exactly where they hit. Uh, so you do want to continue to stay tuned right here to KZN News. We'll keep you updated uh, all the way through this storm, uh, all the way into the weekend. Uh, and if you have any questions, pictures, video of what looks in, a, in your area, uh, you can always find us there on Facebook and Twitter. Hope you have a great rest of your day.